This short YouTube is about the push to talk switch that I made for the radios. Here it is. It fits in this little slot here on my rack and controls the ICOM 7300. So I'm going to show you how. So, uh, here's the detail. This is a, a light switch from Home Depot and it's the wider sort, not the little toggle that you have. Um, it's hot melted into this metal plate here. This metal plate is actually the front of a uh, five and a quarter inch drive bay on computers. Um, it's a metal one and I have a rubber feet, uh, like kind of self-adhesive uh, rubber feet fixed to it. That's just to stop it sliding. So. Uh, when it's on a surface it's more resistant to to sliding because of those rubber feet and also the metal corners aren't going to scratch anything so it's quite weighty that's deliberately that's why I chose the metal uh, kind of five and a quarter inch drive bay just surplus the connections are uh, two screws here it uses a kind of microphone cable which is shielded up to a 6.35mm mono jack plug. It's the um, same thing you kind of plug into an older stereo mono. All that happens is when you rock the switch it shorts the circuit out and that goes up through here into the radio. Uh, in my case it plugs into a Heil um, adapter cable for the IC7300. You can do it anyway. I've actually made uh, other microphone um, PTTs out of like a wired mouse like this and I called it the Mickey Mouse so M-I-C-K-E-Y -E <laughs> I don't have anything for M-O-U-S-E but basically I had a, a down button an up button and a PTT on the roller in the middle where you click it in I just uh, stripped the guts out of a, a PCB inside and just uh, connected that straight through to an 8 pin uh, microphone. It worked okay, I just found it a little bit irritating um, as I didn't really use the up and down functions and it was quite difficult to press the PTT on the top there. So that was a different project. This one, the only deliberate uh, design part in this is that uh, it's in the shelf. I put the palm of my hand over it and I just kind of rock the uh, palm of my hand to go into PTT or not and deliberately this is turning off the PTT so as I bring my hand out from the cabinet if I do and I accidentally touch it I'm turning the thing off not on so that's the only kind of deliberate design anyway that's it uh, super low cost Home Depot um, whole computer I actually work for a computer company so I've got stacks of these things and uh, a piece of shielded cable the 6.35 mil uh, jack plug there and that's it so not high cost um, it works nicely right practical use in, in my cabinet here which is on another YouTube called uh, ham radio cabinet build I wasn't planning for the PTT so this gap here is not wide enough for the palm of my hand the one below is wide enough for the palm of my hand here so this is where I place the PTT switch and I plug the cable into the Heil adapter here. So that's my kind of method of operation. I can see the radio all the time and I just kind of rock my hand on here. And as I say when I come away from it just tap down uh, and it disconnects. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the YouTube. So this video, if you like it, our video, comment down below or thumbs up. Thanks for watching VA3SII. Bye.